In the Odyssey of Cherry Orchids, you guys will be amazed at how the companionship of soil and cherry seeds works great. And as a result of this companionship, a juicy, fresh, and delicious fruit comes into being. Cherry orchards need a cool temperature ranging between 15 degree to 25 degrees Celsius. Anyhow, trees also require a minimum temperature of about 7 degrees Celsius or sometimes below in winter to develop healthy flowers for the fruit. The basic requirement of the soil for developed cherry orchards is well-drained ground with rich organic matter with a range of 6.0 to 7.5 pH. Turkey, USA, and Iran are the countries that are considered the top producers of this fruit. However, it is native to Asia regions and Europe. It is a stone fruit that has grabbed the mouth-watering attention of its lovers from northern Pakistan to Mexico's fresh, green, grassy lands. In this video of cherry farming, you will enjoy the enchanting journey of vast gardens covered in blankets in delicate hues of pink and purple and the air is filled with the fragrance of Cherry Flower A. This enchanting video will stick in your taste buds when you enjoy planting, harvesting, processing, and packing procedures, and you will not be able to resist the flavor of this fruit. Cherries have many types, some of them are sweetened and a few are tart. However, it depends on the farmer's choice of what type he chooses. Sweet or sour, red or black, self-pollinated or cross-pollinated. It is a sensible act to choose the right type according to the region, land, climate, and available circumstances. Lucrative cherry plantation lies in the perfect timing and the ground, as we know, cherry needs at least 1,200 to 1,500 hours in cold weather. It is considered best to grow cherry orchards at a height of 2,500 meters above sea level. It needs a deep, sandy, loam, muddy ground. A well-drained, moisturized soil is best for cherry cultivation. Stagnancy and doldrum are not suitable for the cherries. Heavy soil with a lot of clay and stickiness causes damage to the farm, as it does not allow the air and water to pass through which can harm the health of the roots. To make improvements, heavy soils need to brisk their fertile material. The best time to cultivate cherries is the spring season when the trees are dormant and inactive towards fast growing. After proper care, seeds take 90 to 150 days to germinate. In the next three weeks, a noticeable stem and leaves begin to appear. Cherry farming is not just a lucrative part of life, but a way to show care towards nature. So don't skip the video and give the thumbs up to the video. Talking about nature, it comes to mind that cherry's orchards are sensitive to pests and diseases. Fly, green peach aphids, and thrips are some of the very common pests that badly affect early cultivation. However, farmers control them by cultivating early varieties such as Bigoreau cherries that are fully grown before flies destroy the whole farm. Moreover, nowadays, Many farmers use traditional ways with new technologies. They control such flies and insects by setting a trap known as a pheromone trap. Prepared with sulfate ammonium and flies get distracted from the plant to the trap. When you cultivate a huge farm, the harvesting of the fruit is also close. But what will make you understand that your fruit is all set to harvest? Well, when the cherries are turned fully red, you should understand that your fruit is ready to harvest. 
However, the sweetness in the fruit increases in the final days. So never pluck the fruit before turning it fully red. Including sugar content increases magnificently, cherries also look fully firmed. Tarted cherries, when they are ripened fully to be harvested, come off the stem while sweet cherries should wait for maturity and firmness. As you know, cherries will not ripe after harvesting them from the trees. So, you laborers, be patient and wait until they fully ripen. Harvest cherries with attached stems. But if you are picking them for cooking, you can pick the only fruit part and leave the stem on the tree. Before harvesting the cherries, the attack of pests or diseases is a causal factor. To avoid them, cover up the bushes with bird netting. Remove overripe cherries and apply horticultural oils on the farms, along with insecticidal soaps if needed. Prepare your own sprays by mixing dish detergent, baking soda, and olive oil in a gallon of water. However, if you are buying ready-made sprays, then please note that always follow the directions that are mentioned above. Keep us updated with your reviews about the video or your favorite part of cherry farming. In the sector of cherry cultivation, if you are going to establish a large-scale business, you need a large investment as the new technologies are involved in the agriculture department. These developments, though, play a vital role in the production sectors. However, needs more money to invest in. Furthermore, owners should be aware of the expected dangers, including the problems created by global warming, changes in the consumer's priorities, and energy for yield failure by dint of pests or diseases. Mechanical cherry harvesters decrease the expenses of labor by about 24 cents per pound. Two-unit mechanical harvester moves forward in the orchard and shakes the tree, making it lose the branches. Cherries fall over the catching surface and a roller pushes them to the conveyor belt. These harvesters save almost 80 to 90% cost of harvesting. Oops, sounds like a wow. From this part, they are ready to move to the packaging department. For boxing and packaging, they finally are moved to the boxing to go to the consumers. Some of them are common people and some of them are from the companies preparing different items, such as jams, juices, crushed cherries, and in many hotels, meat served with cooked cherries. In the boxing sector, they separate the cherries according to their type, size, and use. However, when companies purchase them, they are brought to the factories for further processing. For canned cherries, with the use of cutters, cherries are cut into halves, and their seeds automatically go out of the factory through a conveyor belt. The rest of the fruit goes into cans. Here, they process the cans with some specific procedure to keep them long-lasting, fresh aroma and flavor, and then pass them through some cooling temperature. They put the expiry dates on the jars. Some robotic machines put their lids and stamps on. And here, finally, the mouth-watering and fleshy journey of cherry reaches out to an end. Hope you enjoy the whole video. For more farming fun, stay tuned and stay updated. Farewell.